Hey, what's up guys? Gary G with Stay Slick Auto Detail here in Fresno. Back again with another video. And today what we're going to talk about is how 2022 is going so far for our business. Mr. Gary, how's a slow season? Uh, uh, it just passed, right? Yeah. How was it for your business? Did it slow down a lot? Did, did you guys do good? Did you guys break even or lose money? How was it for you? Uh, I made enough to do what I needed to do uh, during the slow season and it's uh, carried a couple weeks into this year but uh, surprisingly it actually picked up pretty good towards the end of january did it yeah a little more than i thought it would i was told uh that it would probably last a little longer but uh, we picked up pretty decent okay yeah. so where are you at right now are you still kind of dragging out of the slow season or are you like up and running um i i'm riding a roller coaster okay i'm, I'm up and down certain weeks i have uh, a bunch of big jobs and other weeks I have nothing but maintenance it just depends that's that's kind of where we're at right now is the um, the bigger jobs aren't as consistent as I would like them to be yeah how do you handle that like you know how you're saying that it's like a roller coaster how do you handle that uh, just save money um, advertise more beat the streets like I said people when they see my trailer usually is how I get business so uh, going out there passing out business cards things like that summer is coming i mean obviously right summer's coming up fast um are you ready for it like is there anything you need to buy is there anything you want to kind of put into your trailer into your truck or um you know i've i've recently put some money into it um tax season was really good <laughs> was it not to mention i won an unemployment case Woo! i got some money uh, yeah. yeah i'm upgrading some equipment okay. i uh, uh upgraded a polisher finally bought my first repez polisher just to see what it was all about, and it was true. <laughs> Pretty amazing. Um, I'm gonna step up my steamer. Steamer is gonna be upgraded. That's about a thousand dollar purchase that I'm about to do here in just a little bit. Um, and just upgrade to make sure that I can provide the best results. New chemicals, like I said, I'm using a lot of PNS products now. Um, so I'm just taking this time to really dial in my processes and get better products and just, you know, do what I need to do to make sure that I'm up and running. You said that it's going it's going good, right? Um, that you're not necessarily slow, but you're on a roller coaster kind of up and down. Yeah. But since the, the, the busy season is coming in, what's your plan to like capitalize on that busy season? Um, well, I have uh, a number of different things. Uh, there's some car shows coming up um, that I'm gonna be attending that I'm trying to get involved with. I have some friends who, who run different things and have some truck clubs out here. Um, so I've been invited to be a part of that to kind of pass out flyers or to uh, show different services that I do there. I think that's gonna help. Yeah. And then just the old school, beat the streets, business cards, flyers. I got flyers set up for like headlight restoration. That's easy yeah. to get in the door with people, yeah. you know what I mean? And I see it all day long, people with fogged headlights, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so things like that, the, the whole ad scene, I haven't had a lot of success with ads. No. Hmm. Maybe I'm just not good at them. I don't know. Someone can school me in the comments. I'm sure they will. <laughs> Maybe, probably, right? <laughs> now, when you first started, did you know about the busy and the slow season? Or did you just kind of like go in, right? You would think that I would know uh, <laughs> just from detailing my own cars or washing my own cars. That, yeah. That it's kind of a seasonal job. But um, I didn't really think about it, to be honest. I just thought about getting started. And to be honest, when I started, I was at the tail end of summer so it actually started pretty quick for me and then it slowed down yeah so that was kind of like the you know the shock at first like wow yeah i didn't think about that yeah but no we were blessed with, with good customers uh they would still have me wash their cars even when it's raining yeah so. now are you on your you're in your first year right of, of sure. detailing uh, professionally i guess you could say right yeah. what's the biggest mistake you've made so far it could be either like a bad investment or like a bad job or you screwed something up at a job no luckily i haven't screwed anything up <laughs> um, no I, I think i've gone through a lot of the rites of passage as okay. you have to um i wish i would have started focusing on my processes sooner okay um and then you know hindsight is 2020 so i wish i would have bought maybe some things that were more professional up front uh -huh. that i didn't have to buy another one you know like steamers like things we were talking about but like i said hindsight is 2020 you don't really know that until you get into it so yeah yeah now what's some advice that you would have for like 
like me, right, that I'm starting new in, in detailing and things like that, um, about adjusting to the slow season or, or going into a slow season or now going into like the busy season, right? Like what advice could you give me for that? Uh, while you're making money, stash it. Okay. Stash it away so you have some, some extra money. Um, feel out your clients, who the people are that will keep you going during that slow season. Like I said, I have some clients that they just want to make sure the dirt's off of their vehicle, even yeah. if it's in the rain. Okay. So uh, that would be one thing. Another thing I would think about is other services you could offer. So I know some detailers uh, will uh, extract uh, home carpets, they'll uh -huh. do couches, um, pressure washing buildings, yeah. pressure washing parking lots. I mean, there's so many things you could do yeah. to keep the money going during those slow seasons. And I'm just now starting to think about that to keep me going for when the next slow season comes or even just Got in it. those dips. Yeah. Yeah. True. Yep. Now, what's the big uh, goal, right? Like, what's the goal, not for the business, but for yourself in this year? I just want to get, uh, well, I don't know. A lot of my personal goals are business related. Okay. But uh, personally, I would like to get um, just everything down the way that I want it to, get the equipment that I need. I want to just make sure that everything on the back end is flowing and things are going. Improve family life, improve family time. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'd like to get it to a point where my wife doesn't have to work. She can choose to work. Got it. Um, those are personal goals of mine. Just continuing to grow my skills. Mm -hmm. Now, what, ab what about for the business? What's, what's the goal for 2022? Like, where do you want to be at the end of this year? At the end of this year, I want to be consistent five days at least a week. Got it. Every week, five days a week. It could be maintenance. It could be big jobs. It could be whatever. Um, my three-year goal is to have a shop if it makes sense at okay. that time. That would be nice. Um, Are you trying to implement, like, uh, maybe buy, get a van? or stay with the setup that you have? No, I actually want to go, I want to go van. Van? I would like to go a van by next year. That'd be nice to get a Ford Transit or, or something like that would be really nice. Okay, mm -hmm. so that's the next thing in your, on your mind? This, yeah, the, the truck, I gotta get rid of it. It's killing yeah. me on gas. I bet. Especially with over $5 a I gallon. I bet, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, for, we we're talking uh, about like your personal life, right? Like your personal goals and things like that. And one of the things that you said was uh, improve family life improve family i'm what do you mean by that does that mean that maybe you feel like you're not spending enough time with your family or how has having a business affected the time with your family well the, having a business has allowed me to work less hours okay uh, because like i said right now it's not always jam-packed yeah some days i'm working you know 10 hours some days i'm working three hours and sometimes i make the same money on that three hour day yeah and i do the 10 hours so it's like that but so I've had more time with my family, but when you have a business, it's it's hard to turn it off. Got it. It's 24 seven. So yeah. when I worked for my other company, I could leave and they would never bother me. Mm -hmm. But with this company, I'm constantly thinking about it all the time, things I can do. How come people aren't calling? Oh, I had a bunch of people call, I gotta get back to them. Oh, I gotta schedule this person for me, I gotta do this. So sometimes it's hard to mentally be there. Got and it. I wanna get, like I said, I wanna get more of my processes down and get yeah. everything streamlined so I don't have to focus so much of my attention all the time on that so I could be more present yeah with the family it would be nice do you think that maybe hiring someone would help you out in that or not necessarily if it makes sense uh, financially I know my wife is, is amazing at that kind of stuff it would be cool if she was able to just do that you know because she's expressed interest and wanted to do that yeah that would be cool to not have to have her you know stuck down to the job that she has now to just be able to be a part of the business and do that because she's really good at that stuff yeah so that would be that would be really nice yeah to have that yeah got it now do you have planned maybe i don't know this year maybe any family vacation or anything like that because i know Dude. we were talking about burnout right we're talking about how and you know how you're saying it right now how hard it is to shut that switch off right mm -hmm. Do you think that maybe you need a vacation with your family or something like that? Or I got a good one coming up. Do you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, we live by uh, Yosemite. We live by Yosemite, uh, and there's a place up there called Tanaya Lodge. Uh, really nice, uh, like, hotel, and they have all kinds of outdoor sports and uh, things going on. They have a little water park for the kids. They have, like, a massive bonfire they do every It's really cool. Yeah. And it's uh, for our Bible study group. So we did it uh, last year. It was a blast. We're actually going to go uh, the 1st of April. 
Got it. We're gonna be there for about about three days. Got Looking it. Looking forward to a little break. So, I guess to, to kind of wrap it up, what is it that you wish new detailers didn't have to go through? Uh, you know, it really bothers me. Um, there's a certain type of customer out there that can feed off the fact that you're new. They can feed off the fact that you might be desperate for work. And uh, unfortunately, I was the, the victim, I could say, of uh, at least two that I can think of on hand um, when I started out that took advantage of that. Constantly trying to, to cut down my prices, constantly telling me exposure, exposure, oh, I'll mention you to other people, da 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 da, and that never happens. Um, and I just think it's unfortunate that people kind of prey on, on newer detailers like that. I know I'm not the only one that's had to deal with that. So it'd be really nice if, if that sort of thing didn't happen. But, you know, in, in the same sense, you need to become strong and you, you're strong through adversity. So you're going to have to go through hard periods. It's just a rite of passage. So I'm just, I'm just trying to do mine just like everybody else, you know. All right, guys, there you have it. That was a little sneak peek in how 2022 is going so far for us at Stay Slick. Um, let me know in the comments what you're going through. What are some things that you think might help me? Some things that you're also struggling with? Anything that I might be able to help you out with? Uh, just go ahead and leave it in the comments. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And also, if you want to follow our journey, we're Stay Slick on Instagram and Facebook. And then YouTube is just Stay Slick.